Hey, what's up guys? Phil here. Welcome back to Playground Sessions YouTube channel. Here we are. I've got a brand new song section to teach you today. This one's by Jason Mraz. It's called I'm Yours. And this one's for you beginners out there because I'm going to be breaking down the chorus from our rookie level arrangement from the Playground Sessions app. That section we'll be learning together today sounds like this. One, two, set, go. All right, 100%. That's always fun. So we're gonna get into this in detail and I think we should get started right away with the right hand melody. Come on. The key signature for this song and this arrangement is zero sharps and zero flats. Wait, does that mean there is no key signature? No, absolutely not. What this is telling us is that the key signature says zero sharps, zero flats. All the notes are white keys. Our time signature is four two. This is essentially 4-4, four, four, but we're feeling it in a halftime feel, and this allows us to stretch our rhythms out a little more, at least visually. But don't worry about why it's 4-2 or 4-4. Four, four. All you need to worry about when playing in the app is following that bar that goes across the notation. And you'll see when we hit play on our slow tempo run through that that's pretty easy to do. Let's talk notes and hand position. Our first note is an E way up here. Then we rest, then we play a C with our two finger, then we play a G, then we're back up to E. So we're jumping all around here, but we have half rests in between each one of these notes. So again, that goes E, C, G. Back to E, now keep moving, D, B, G. Okay, we're going to keep moving, putting our pinky this time on D. Now next line down, we see fourth finger on C, and then again, two on A, back to four on C, and then now with our thumb, we're gonna reach down to F. We're gonna rest and then jump up a whole octave to the next F, and then our final phrase goes E, D, C, and then we tie that over. So let's look at these last two measures one more time. Fourth finger plays E, and then we have two quarter notes, that means we're gonna move a bit faster. We play D, C, and then we tie this C over to the next measure, to a half note. And as we know, tying a note over means we combine their note values. So we play that first C at the end of this measure for one count, we tie it over to a two count note. That means in total we're playing this C for three counts. And we're not going to play that new C in the next measure, because that's being held over from before. And that's it guys, so why don't we cue up our backing track at the slow speed so we can practice these rhythms in time, but still without feeling the pressure of doing it at full speed just yet. Here we go. One, two, set, go. There it is guys, nice work. But if you need extra practice, please pause, rewind, and play back with me as many times as you need. Because now we're gonna try it at full speed. One, two, here we go. All right, there's 100%. Great work so far. So now let's shift gears and start talking about the left hand. Let's break that down and see if we can get 100% there as well. Let's do it. The left hand part for this arrangement is actually pretty awesome in my opinion, because we have some extra rhythms. And normally at the rookie level, we just tend to see whole notes, whole note roots in the left hand. But here we're playing roots and other chord tones, and we're doing it with some awesome rhythm, a cool toggle pattern. Let's break it down. Our first note is C, and we toggle between that C and this G. So let's get our hand in this position. And we're gonna go back and forth. C, two, G, four, one, two, three, four. As you can see, we have four measures of that. 
The next four measures, we do a similar pattern outlining a different chord, but the note is only one note different. We just drop down from here to here. This G stays the same. So now we're going to toggle with this shape, and that looks like this. A one, two, three, four. Okay, with me so far? That's halfway through the whole section already. So we've done this, we've done this. Our third chord shape is this. It's an A and an E, so we need to drop our hand down to here, and then we're gonna have a similar toggle pattern with this chord shape as well. So A, E, four measures of this as well. And our final four measures, Again, similar rhythmic pattern, but we're gonna drop down to a new shape, and that goes F, C, okay? So our final fourth chord shape is right here. Bottom, top, just like before, right? F, C, F, C. So there we have it. That's a lot of measures with a lot of notes, but really it's just four different shapes, and we have a similar rhythmic pattern throughout. The first shape is here, Second shape is here. Then we drop down to here. And finally, down to here. We go. So let's go ahead and try this now at the slow speed as well, and then we'll try to speed it up to full tempo. Let's try it. One, two, set, go. Again, please pause, rewind, and play back as needed. But now, if you're ready, let's try the left hand at full speed. One, two, set, go. All right, so there's 100% for our left hand as well. But if you guys need extra practice at that fast tempo and it's feeling too fast and it's feeling difficult to play it accurately, I have one tip for you, and that is to use your whole wrist to toggle, almost like you're turning a doorknob. Don't rely just on your fingers with a stiff wrist. That's not what we want, and that's gonna make it hard to play fast. But if you can relax your hand and fingers and instead use your wrist to turn like this, You'll be just fine. All right, now let's try to put these hands together. We're gonna to start at the slow speed, just like we did for the hands separately, and I think that's gonna help us get ready for the final test of the full speed with the hands together. But before we jump in, I just wanna point out one thing, and that is, for the most part, the hands are synced up rhythmically. They are either playing at the same time, or one hand is playing while the other one is resting. However, in the final two measures, we finally see a bit of a syncopation, which means a phrase that has a rhythm that is not on a strong beat. One, two, three, four. Right? We have something that comes up on the upbeat, and that is because of our tie that we see here. So briefly, I'll play the two measures at the end with the tie in the right hand, and you'll see what I mean. It goes like this. So usually we would see stuff like this, right, where the hands are playing at the same time. And for the most part in this section, we do see that. But here at the end, we have together, together, right, left, then left, okay? So this one is a little trickier than the rest of this section, and I encourage you to pause the video and just work that out a little bit with no timing, right? We don't want a metronome playing while we're working on something else. When you get that down, then it's time to try it with the metronome at the slow speed. And I think I want to try that right now. Here we go. One, two, set, go.
All right, so there we have it at the slow speed. We've got it down, but please don't be in a hurry to speed this up. Let's try this many times at the slow speed. I want you to be able to do it with 100% pretty much every try at the slow speed before we move on to the full tempo. But then, where do we go from here? Once we finish this section here at full speed, well, there's a lot more of this song to learn, right? You're right, and you can do that in the Playground Sessions interactive app. The app is awesome and it grades you as you play, which means when you play one wrong note, you might get a 97%, 98% instead of that 100%, and it'll turn red and it'll tell you exactly what you need to work on next to improve. Now you won't see me in a video lesson for every single song or segment, but you will have that interactive notation for every single thing you play in the app. And right now we're running a free trial exclusive to you, you YouTube viewers out here. When you come and learn a song section with me here on YouTube, I think you should be able to finish that song in our interactive app for free. So we're running a free trial for 30 days. You can try the app for free and you get three free song credits just for signing up. So you can get into the app, you can go to the song store, download this song, and you'll have it in full song form. Again, you won't see a video for every segment, but you'll be able to break down every single part of this song with interactive notation, right hand alone, left hand alone, slow it down, all sorts of tools to make learning easier and more fun. I want you guys to take advantage of this free trial right now. So click a link in this video's description or tap this card above. You can open it in a new tab so that we can finish this video together here on YouTube. But when we're done, I'm gonna ask you to go and finish it in the app. Sign up for your free trial today, no payment necessary, and I know you're gonna love it. All right, so let's wrap up this video and then it's up to you to wrap it up in the app. Here we go, full speed, hands together. I'm yours by Jason Mraz. This is the rookie chorus. Let's do it. On, two, set, go. Yes, 100% again. I think I might be addicted to these 100% score pop-ups in the app. You guys gotta try it for yourself, it's super fun. All right, well, thanks for watching. Once again, I'm Phil, and I'll see you guys for the next video lesson very soon, I hope. The features you saw on screen today can be at your fingertips with the Playground Sessions app. Co-created by music legend Quincy Jones, Playground teaches the piano with interactive feedback and gaming features, all while using your favorite songs. All right, guys, I'm Phil. Hit subscribe so I can see you for the next video.